today we're going to be looking at a hedgehog. my channel Casualistic and hi to my new subscribers thank you for joining me um, so today we're going to be looking at uh, this little hedgehog so um, here he is spot where I made a little sewing mistake on the nose there but never mind um, yeah uh, as you'll notice different feet all different colour feet I'll, I'll explain why in a minute <laughs> um, but quite cute um, so first things first, uh, the pattern I used, um, this was actually donated to me by Jan, it's actually, it actually came as part of a kit, so it came this little kit here with all the yarn and even the stuffing and eyes in it, um, um, and it came with this uh, magazine, so this leaflet came with this magazine which is the Crochet Now magazine uh, which is issue 19. Uh, so that's what uh, the magazine that goes with it. So thanks Jan for that, I really appreciate it. Um, Jan sent it to me because it's full of amigurumis and Jan doesn't do them. So um, it's very kind of her to think of me. Um, so the that's the book that it's come in. Uh, Woodland Creatures it says. And this one's called uh, Henry the Hedgehog. Now you don't have to make the hedgehog with the yarn. You'll see in the background here there's... Uh, toadstool mushrooms type things um acorns and things leaves um you can choose to make those with the kit you don't have to do the hedgehog but i thought the hedgehog would be something more substantial for you to see um so the yarns um uh that came with it are called yarn and colors must have um they're available at wool warehouse i have checked that and they are available so i've checked it and as you can see well the camera will pick it up there you've got plenty of colours uh, to choose from there's absolutely tons of colours there um, now they come in 100 gram balls or um, 10 gram balls I will just say this is not a sponsored video but I just thought you might want to know where to get the yarn uh, so it's called yarn and colours must have must have is abbreviated uh, minis the mini ones which are the, the ones that came with the kit are all 10 gram balls which is 25 metres they're 100% cotton and they cost 59p per 10 grams so um so this is a fairly inexpensive uh, project even if you were to buy the yarn uh now the pattern itself was fairly simple but there was a lot of sewing <laughs> so if you don't like sewing this won't be for you um so the yarn is uh, a four ply yarn, um, it's recommended for the pattern, it's recommended a four millimetre hook but I've noticed on Wool Warehouse it actually recommends a 2.5 um, so that's really down to choice. I found it okay with a four millimetre. Um, it's quite um, sort of got that satiny uh, finish um, to it so that quite, when you get that yarn that's really silky and it kind of is all over your hook a bit. Um, it was one of those yarns so I do apologise for chirping, she is no longer on eggs, um, so she wants to make a presence known. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, so the colours in the kit were beige, dark brown, orange, light brown and cream. So, I mean it says in the book they're 100% acrylic, but it, on the wall has to say 100% cotton. I think they were cotton, but uh, I'm no expert, so. Now. I had a little problem. This was my first attempt at it. This was my second. Can you see what I did wrong? I don't know if you remember in my last video I said that I'd made a mistake with uh, one of the hedgehogs and I'd got to redo it. Uh, this goes to show that even if you've been doing amigurumis for a while, if you don't read the pattern properly, don't pay attention to the photographs properly, this is what can happen. Um, this will still get sent off because I still think it's kind of cute in a kind of weird way. It's got quite a big nose. But this is what happens when um, your mum comes to visit, you make the body, because the head and the body are all one piece, and... You don't read the instructions properly because you're talking and you put the eyes in the wrong place. 
in my defense the pattern doesn't say exactly where to put the eyes and I thought that was just the head not the head and the body because I didn't read properly so that was where my mistake was so I'm actually going to go through this one uh, first and then just talk about the difference between the, the two um, so um, you start with the head slash body which is all one piece and you start at the nose uh, with a magic circle with six stitches um, you then work the next round and then change colours to the beige and gradually you work your way up and um, with increases there are increases on one side which is this side where you get the uh, sort of curved uh, bit there um, and then no increases on the underside uh, so um, you work your way along and then you have a few, few rows on for the main part of the body where um, you just uh, normal uh, single crochet in US terms. This is all in single crochet US terms, double crochet UK terms. Um, and then you do decreases and you um, weave in and out of the stitches uh, to pull it and seal it up. Fasten it off, that's the word. Um, have apologised if I'm a little bit all over the place. Um, I've actually had a flu jab this morning. I'm starting to feel the effects a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, and then uh, but before you um, fasten it off, you have to put the eyes in um, and obviously stuff it. Um, so I actually put it in at uh, row two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I put it in between rows nine and ten on this one. Um, you have a tummy piece which is a, a separate piece, this round sort of ovally shaped bit here. Uh, that's worked as a chain, uh, you then work uh, right round the chain with increases at each end and just work round like that. Pretty simple um, and then that's stitched to the bottom. Uh, the feet, um, as you'll see I've got different coloured feet um, simply because because I'd already done this one um, I hadn't done the feet on this one because I just stopped because I realised I'd made a mistake and I'd already put the safety eyes in and I knew that I wasn't going to be able to get them out so um, I actually ran out of the dark brown um, yarn so I just changed the colour feet I don't think it overly matters because it's got those colours in the top anyway um, so again the feet are worked with a magic ring with six stitches and then you're just doing that so you do three rows of the darker colour which should be the dark brown um, and then three rows of beige you don't need to stuff them and then just uh, sew them on and then for the prickles now I found my prickles are curling over they're not staying pointy which is a little bit annoying but um, if I show you sort of one of the points there so these little triangles and the way these are done is you work a chain four and then you put a single crochet into the first stitch that's US terminology or, or a double crochet if you're in the UK the next stitch is a half double crochet or a half treble depending on whether you're US or UK and then the third stitch you put a double crochet or a treble crochet depending on whether you're US or UK um, and then you chain four and you do that and um, basically it tells you how many times so, so um, for the longer colour just get to the right page <coughs> So for the main colour, which was um, this sort of light brown colour here, um, you had to make 69 spikes in a continuous line. Then for the orange colour, so this one here, um, you had to do 55 and then you had to do seven individual, uh, just one off ones, which is in the dark brown. And that's just to fill up any uh, gaps you might have. Um, so what I did now, the bit that took all the time is sewing all these spikes on. Um, I spent from 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon till 9 o'clock last night just sewing that one on. Um, fin I had to crochet the legs um, and sew those on. And I had to crochet the legs and sew those on. So it took me 7 hours to get the prickles on that. All, f all 8 um, legs done and stitched on. Took me absolutely ages. I don't know if it's just because I was a bit tired, I've had a really busy week, but um, I, it seemed to take forever. Um, so what I did with the 
the light brown, um, literally, I just, because um, you have to leave a long tail with, with each um, set of spikes, I pinned it there, pulled it across. Now, it says to put, um, I think it's six across on, on the light brown and five across each row for the orange. But had I have done that, I would have had so much left over by the time I got to here that it just wouldn't have worked. I actually put a few more spikes in. Um, they do vary um, as to what. I just kind of eyeballed it. Um, and basically just pinned, I put a pin either side and in the middle for each row, stitched the row on, put the next colour on, pinned it in the same way, then brought the first colour back across, pinned it again, stitched it on, and just basically went backwards and forwards between the two colours. And then the dark brown I basically filled in anywhere where it was gappy, which was mainly at the front. Um, because as I got halfway sort of to this point, I realised I'd got an awful lot of spikes. And um, yeah, I only just managed to fit it all on the bum, as you can tell it's a little bit. That's quite a lot there. Um, easy enough to do, just very time consuming. Um, so for this one, um, I didn't do as many spikes. Um, I just eyeballed it. Um, worked out fairly well. Again, I did some dark brown ones just to fill in the gaps. Um, basically, the place that I went wrong with this one was I put the eyes too far back. These were the eyes that came with the kit, they're 7mm eyes, but I actually thought they looked a bit big. So I used, uh, for this one, I used 5mm eyes, uh, which came out of my own personal stash. And I think they look a bit more as they should. And I apologise if you can hear that rumbling, there's a big old motorbike that has just started up outside. <laughs> it always makes the building vibrate. <laughs> um, yeah, so not only did I put these too far back, um, they should have really been here. Um, I just felt the eyes were too big, even though that's what came with the kit. Um, I did exactly the same uh, way of stitching for the spikes. I just did shorter lengths of the spikes. Now, it was very tight. I would have had lots of yarn left over had I have just made one. Um, but because I did two, um, yeah, I literally used pretty much every scrap. I had a tiny little length of the cream left and that was it. Um, so I only just had enough yarn to get this one done. But I've got two out of it. They're different, but you know, little child, who's going to care? So these will be going off to uh, Woolly Hugs. Um, if you're new to the channel don't know about Woolly Hugs, I will do the link for the Facebook group and the website uh, down in the description box. Um... Yeah, so these will be going off for the Belarus uh, Christmas Hugs project. So these will be going to children that have nothing for Christmas. So this will be, one of these will be their Christmas gift. Um, so hopefully that one's not too freaky. But I thought rather than waste it and it just sit here doing nothing, I thought, well, it's kind of cute, isn't it? Just not as cute as that one. But it just goes to show that um, no matter how experienced with amigurumis you are, you can still get it wrong. So if you're a newbie, don't be disheartened, even those that have been doing it, I've been doing Amis for about two or three years now. Even I get it wrong from time to time. So I just thought I'd be straight and uh, hopefully that will give you some encouragement if you're just starting out with um, Amigurumis. Um, for the feet on this one, I just did them in the light brown rather than the dark brown. But it ties in with the spike, so like I said, I ran out of the dark brown for, for the feet because I did the feet last because um, I felt the spikes were more important but yeah so it's actually a really simple pattern a phenomenal amount of sewing unfortunately and it does take oh got really blurry sorry about that um it does take a phenomenally long time to um sew it on so if you like sewing this is a project for you if you like me and you're not keen on it definitely not one for you um I think the result is super cute would I ever make it again not in a hurry, I think is the polite answer. Probably not, uh, but never say never, So, um, but not likely. But um, hey, I've had a go, so um, I think they're super cute. So these will be going off to uh, Woolly Hugs. I can't remember if I said, but I was uh, using a 4mm hook. Uh, this is a, a Knit Picks um, hook that Sandra sent me, so thanks Sandra. Again, it's been put to good use. Um, yes, yeah, so that's it for the uh, craft section. Um, excuse me just one second, I need to take my sweatshirt off because I'm starting to run a temperature. <laughs> oh dear, right, that's better. I don't want to start sweating on camera. 
that's not attractive. So, what's been going on with me since my last video? This is the life update section. Um, so, this week I had to drive to um, a neighbouring town that's about an hour away from uh, where we live. Uh, my friend had a hospital appointment there. Unfortunately, the department that we did have at that particular department um, in our local hospital until very recently, and they closed it down. So, now we have an hour's drive. Um, found it pretty easy, got parked okay, um, found where we needed to go, was seen spot on time, uh, can't fault the hospital whatsoever. Um, we were hoping that she was going to have the treatment done there and then, but unfortunately not, so um, that will be coming up. But uh, yeah, coming home was a little bit eventful. Um, I got a bit flustered coming out the car park. Um, we set the sat nav up because um, although I know the town fairly well, I'm not 100% familiar with it and I just didn't want to get lost and get caught in rush hour. Um, unfortunately, um, my mum accidentally caught the, the finger that sent us back to the destination where we'd just come from, which was the hospital, instead of go home. Um, so it started sending us round in circles in the city centre. Now, I suffer from anxiety quite badly and anything that causes me stress um, causes me to panic, which is not ideal when you're driving and you're trying to listen to the sat-nav and watch all the road markings on the road because they're all either and everywhere in that particular town. So you've got to watch the road markings uh, for where's, where to give way and stuff um, as well as look at the signs. So there's a lot going on. Um, and uh, at one point I got bibbed at because I thought I'd got to give way and it turned out it was a merge lane so I got bibbed at which fair enough. I find in that town they were a lot more aggressive um, driving. And then um, we got completely lost. The sat nav was sending us all over the place before we realised what that it was trying to take us back to where we'd been. Ended up on this housing estate. Uh, it was school leaving out time. There were kids everywhere on bikes and scooters and they run out in the road and oh it was a nightmare. And we turned down this road sat by then we'd corrected the sat nav, realised what was wrong. And as I went down this road there was cars parked all down on the right hand side. Obviously we drive on the left in the UK. It was my right of way but this car coming the opposite way decided it was going to push its way through. So I slowed down enough so that it could pull through and the passenger, because um, we all had our windows open because it was quite a warm day, decided to start gobbing off in using particular language and I will admit I lost my temper and I used um, a little expletive back and then carried on driving. <laughs> I was a little bit stressed. So, um, but when we got to the end of the road, finally we found the road that we needed to be on. I realised where I was and was able to find my way out. So, a little bit of drama on the way back. Um, so, I was very, very tired on Wednesday. That was Wednesday we did that. So, very, very, very tired. And it's just been, um, I had a, an appointment just to have my eyebrows sorted out. It's nothing, nothing bad. It was a nice appointment on Thursday, so I've been out. So, yesterday was really the first day I've had any kind of... Um, downtime this week at all it's been a really really busy week um, and I spent it sewing up the hedgehog all afternoon I was like I just want to sit and do a big crochet project and just couldn't because I knew that I needed something to show you guys so see how much I love you <laughs> um, yes um, and this morning um, we've uh, been to get our flu jabs um, I'm allowed to get flu jabs for free here in the UK because I'm a carer because obviously I need to be well in order to ensure that she's well um, it's a little bit tender I've got a little bit you know when you've had an injection in your arm you get that slight dead arm thing so I've got that going on at the moment and I'm starting to get a little bit warm so I think it's starting to kick in already which is quite quicker than normal but um, I do usually get a little bit warm afterwards um, so yes my arm's a bit sore so I'm going to be a bit of a dead arm Try, driving back's a bit tricky because we have our gear stick and our handbrake and that is all on our left hand side in, in the UK so that was a little bit uncomfortable driving back but I managed it so um, yeah, so lifting my arm up is a little bit owie, <laughs> uh, but I'm fine. It um, stops me getting flu, that's a good thing, isn't it? So um, most years it's effective. I had one year where it wasn't, where I did actually catch flu, catch flu but it that was a, a year where they guessed what strain it was going to be wrong. So um, so yeah, so hopefully that will protect me. Um, so uh, yeah, I've got my mum due in about uh, 20 minutes. Um, it's uh, lunchtime here in the UK. Um, so I'm going to spend the afternoon with my mummy 
um, chatting and she's probably printed some patterns for me because I have to get her to print my patterns um, off because the printer we got, we picked, got given a printer but unfortunately it doesn't seem to link up with my tablet um, which is where I tend to die and load most of my patterns so I have to send them to mum to, to print off so I should have lots of new patterns there's one uh, from the Mowgli blog which I'm thinking I might do next so that may be the next video other than that I don't have a clue but I'm hope I look like a fairly quick I could probably get it done tomorrow uh, which is Sunday so um, that will be a reversible cowl if um, I managed to find some yarn that I want to use. I've got some ideas what I might uh, use, um, but it's a really pretty pattern. So, and I was thinking, well, we're going into autumn now, aren't we? So, well, certainly we are in the UK. So, um, that will probably be the next um, video. Yeah, so that's um, pretty much it uh, from me. Um, like I say, the next video will, will probably be a cowl, unless I change my mind in the interim. It just depends what I get up to tomorrow treating tomorrow as basically a down day, I don't have to go anywhere, I don't have to take her anywhere, um, if you're new to the channel I'm a full time carer to a friend so um, where she goes I go, um, so I'm pretty much vice versa to be fair, um, yeah, Chip's been good, she's been really quiet, she's, she's stuck in her face, it's, food is one of her favourite things, food and fuss is what she lives for, so she's um, got her head down in a food bowl at the minute. <laughs> But hey, she's being quiet, so that means you can hear me better, so that's a good thing. Um, yeah, nothing else to tell you, so um, I hope you're all okay wherever you are in the world. Uh, what have you been up to, um, and what are you working on at the minute? Um, I sort of, if there's anything you'd like to see for Halloween or Christmas, anything sort of ideas that you have that you would like to, um, some inspiration of, let me know down in the comments section. I do try and reply to every comment. Uh, please be nice, I don't... Uh, I uh, don't allow nasty comments in my comment section. We try and keep this a nice, loving, warm, positive, creative place where everyone can make friends. Um, so yeah, so uh, that's it. Before I gabble anymore, I'm going to stop here. So until next time, remember to stay well, happy crafting, and until next time, remember to stay true to yourself. Bye.